Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this tutorial we're going to show you how you can create a basic RSS feed uh, 2.0 and I'm going to be placing the code at GitHub and this is the site where you can get the code or look at it. Uh, if you go to where I'm currently going to be using the party RSVP so here you can kind of browse through the code that I'm doing on the videos so if you want to see what the controller um, code is you don't need to download it you can just view it and you can get the idea of how to do it on your own so that's when I'm replacing it and I have here what you need to do first is add a controller and we're gonna select the an empty API controller uh, once you name your controller click add and uh, in this case my controller is RSS feed so as you can see here nothing special on this solution uh, you get the controller without this hook this line so the first thing you need to do is make sure you call or you add this reference to your class or to your controller service model dot syndication and right there you need to do a public get and return this type of object um, a class that serializes a system that service model that syndication that syndication fee instance to and from RSS 2.0 format so here, uh, here's some dummy data on how to start your object. So you initialize your syndication fee. Uh, it takes, there's five overloads plus. So you add the title, the description, and the URL for that fee. Here I'm just making this, just make it up. And the author, you, you can add somebody there, the syndication person. As you can see so you can add email or something uh, category if you want the description and here is the items here's you do the items and you assign well you pass the title content same thing alternative URL the ID and the date time when it was done or published or whatever you need and here's another one and just three as example and here you create a, a list of the syndication items and just pass it on one at a time obviously the better way of doing this is you pull it from your database you loop and you add it to your list and finally your fee will take items which are the ones we just did here and you return this new object which is the fee back to your uh, controller and that's it now to run it you go run it now this is the same tutorial we're using same project but in this case we're going to be using api slash rss feed and rss feed is the api controller i'm going to hit and as you can see uh, we get a nice layout this is firefox if you look at the source you see it's not quite formatted so we can view it but you can see that it's a uh, it's an XML well formatted it's done for you you don't need to do any you don't need to build the XML from scratch uh, any browser or RSS feed can can actually read it from here so that's it for this video, very simple, add an API controller, add a get a method here public and start, you know, uh, adding values to your properties, to your feeds and return it back to the user. Very simple. Uh, if you have any questions, go back to the, where did it go, to the MVC tutorial samples on their party RSVP and you'll see the code there. Uh, it's not here yet because I haven't uh, released it, but it will be there. So, any question, check it out. Thank you for watching.